Hello everyone, this is Dimitar from the Red Mineup support team. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Bitnami Redmine virtual image. As you may know, Bitnami Redmine has moved to a virtual image recently. So this is the .ova file. It is installed via VirtualBox, VMware or any other similar tool, it is up to you which one you would like to use. In my current example, I'm going to use the virtual box. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do is to just go to the site of Bitnami and download the very latest virtual image. So it is on my computer section, virtual machines. So yeah, here you are redirected to .ova file which in our case is Redmine 5.1.1. So you download it, which I have already done, and it is with size 600 megabytes. Okay, so now we start our virtual box. And then click on Tools and Import. Right here, we select the virtual image and then click next okay uh, yeah here are some predefined settings of the virtual box like CPU RAM and USB and many others uh, please note that these parameters could be changed anytime in the future so yeah we can continue for now Here you click on Cree and we see some time here that needed for the virtual box to import it, to import the file. It depends on your computer, however here it is pretty fast. We are almost done on 99%. Maybe just a couple of seconds more. All right, yeah, so our virtual Bitnami Redmine image is ready for starting. So here it is, and we just click Start. Uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to just a little bit resize it so you could see it better. Yeah, now it is better. Um, I would like to say that when it starts for the first time uh, the configurations and setting ups are going to uh, run automatically and these processes uh, run only for the first time so they are now configured only at this moment for the first starting and they are no, not going to be repeated for the future so when you start your virtual Bitnami Redmine the second time and afterwards there will be much more faster starting because all these processes and services are going to be predefined and pre-configured already. So this is happening only now. We see that the database is now going to configure it. The database migrations are now done and some other processes needs to be uh, executed and run so we just wait for now Database migrations are in the process of executing. OK, 
Okay. Now we are almost ready. Starting call services. So in a couple of seconds we are going to have a running red mine. So welcome to our new red mine. So here are a couple of lines that are very important. When you access your red mine, you have to enter this IP address. So you have to go to your browser and just write it and you will access your red mine. So the second thing is that your red mine uh, front end could be accessed by this user and this password and your Redmine backend so the command line could be accessed via these credentials bitnami and bitnami so let's try bitnami and bitnami okay so for security reasons uh, it asks for changing the password So we have now a new password and just logged in into our Redmine backend command line. Uh, yeah, so for now I'm going to just show you where the plugins and Redmine folder are located. So they are located in the uh, in directory op bitnami redmine plugins. So of course the plugins folder is empty because this is a brand new Redmine and there are no plugins installed yet. However, in other videos I'm going to show you every single plugin that could be installed into the Redmine Bitnami virtual image. Right, and the Redmine standard files are of course here. Okay, so let's go to our browser and just check is everything fine with our red mine okay so we go and just type the address that was this one um here for the first starting of course some uh, some more time is needed for red mine to just uh, burn up yeah Okay, so we see that our red mine is now up and running. So we sign with the front end um, account that is user, and the password is I just have written into my desk here. It is S A K W U Y T three I E Z. Okay, so we log in. And yeah, successfully logged as a user. Here is our system information. That is currently the latest red mine that is 511 stable. And no plugins yet. However, this could be changed. We will install them later. Well, yeah, um, we are now successfully logged. However, let's try to just turn off the machine and turn it on. We go back here and click on the close button. Click here on the close button. And here are options for powering off the machine or saving the state. So powering off is just the same like you switch off your computer. So it just starts from the zero afterward. Saving the state means that when you start the machine again, it just 
like it is on a pause mode so it just starts from where it was just at the same uh, phase and uh, situation so in our case we are going to completely turn it off and power it off so to see if it is going to start faster okay if we try to refresh our red mine it will of course say to us that there is no such red mine and it is not existing because um, yeah, it is powered off the virtual machine is switched off so there is nothing here unable to connect okay so we turn back here and click on start we click enter here and just wait to see what will happen yeah we see that it is much more faster uh, all right okay so now when we return back to our browser and refresh we will see that our red mine will be back again mm -hmm. Yeah, so here it is. It is again up and running. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm going to show you also the saving the state. So, for example, we write a time time command, and we save the machine state. Okay, it is saving the virtual machine now and when we it is here um, stated to be saved and when we click start here let's see what will happen it is just started from the same state where it was so if you save the state and then power off your real computer and then power on your real computer and then power on your virtual computer virtual machine of Vietnamese red mine then it will be saved from this situation here so it will start just where you left it all right so uh, yeah this was installing the Vietnamese red mine virtual image via virtual box Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope it was helpful for you and if you like it you could check other videos and articles from Redmine Up. Bye bye for now.